ओके गाइस वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट डिटरमाइन द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ द शेडेड एरिया अबाउट द वाई एक्सिस सो वी आर गिवन दिस ब्लू एरिया एंड वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइंड द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया अबाउट द वाई एक्सिस एंड दिस एज ऑफ द कर्व इज डिफाइंड बाय दिस वाई ऑफ एक्स फंक्शन so if i write that the moment of inertia about the y axis is will be equal to uh, the integral and x square times da so to apply this formula or equation the differential area need to be parallel to the y axis is so we need to define our uh, differential area let's say this is my differential area and this is at a distance of x from the origin or from the y axis this is at a distance of x and the width of this area is dx this is dx and its height is defined by this uh, curvature right so the coordinates of the end of uh, this differential strip is x and y so it is located at a distance of x and from the um, at a distance of x from the y axis is and it is located at a distance of y from the x axis is. so the coordinates of this end of the differential strip is x y so we can say that the height of this differential strip is y so now we can write that da the area of this strip is y times dx right so i will write that this is y times dx so now we can put this da in this equation so this is x square y times dx and this x square times da is the moment of inertia of this strip about the y axis so we have to find the moment of inertia of this whole area so we have to add up the moment of inertia of all those differential strips from x equals to 0 until x equals to 1 meters So we have to integrate this from x equal to zero until x equals to one meters. So zero from zero to one. So now, as we can see, that the integration is with respect to x, and we have y here. So we have to replace replace this y as a function of x. So y is equal to x to the power one divided by two. So I can write that this is i of y, and the integration is from zero to one. This is x square into y, and y is x to the power one divided by two dx. so this is i y and x square uh, we can write that x square plus 1 divided by 2 this is 0 to 1 dx and now if we add this so this will give us uh, 5 divided by 2 so this is x to the power 5 divided by 2 and now if i integrate this so this is x and 5 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by that same power so Five divided by two plus one. So this is seven divided by two. Let me write that this is seven divided by two, and divided by that same power. So this is seven divided by two, or we can write this as two divided by seven. So two divided by seven x to the power seven divided by two, and the limits are from zero to one meters. So now if I put these limits in this uh, term, so we will have two divided by seven. And one to the power seven divided by two minus two divided by seven, zero to the power seven divided by two. So this will become zero. So we will be left with this. And one to the power seven divided by two is one. So this is two divided by seven. The moment of inertia about the y-axis and its units are in meter to the power four. So two divided by seven is approximately zero point two eight six. Let me write it like this. So this is zero point Two eight six meter to the power four is the moment of inertia of this given area about the y-axis. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people will find it helpful. Let me know in the comment section if it helps in your learning. Uh, also like this video and subscribe my channel uh, if you haven't subscribed it yet.